Welcome guys. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to live stream on YouTube making use of a free software on your PC. Now, let's dive into that. So first, go ahead and open your browser, type in um, OBS Studio and download this particular application. Or you can just go ahead and open the URL by typing in obsproject.com and then this particular software have three different OS version windows os um, mac os and linux you can go ahead and download whichever version of pc that you have if it's a windows pc click on download and it's going to automatically select the system bits that you have on your system so if you have finished downloading it continue by installing the application so all you need to do is to go over to the downloads and then um, click on the folders and it's going to display the download folder for you so for my case is actually displayed on the download so this is the application right here all i need to do is to double click on this application and start installing it so if you double click it's going to start the installation process and once the installation process starts you can now start um working with obs now um quick information once you finish installing obs and you are opening it for the first time it's going to prompt you with a lot of question uh, like um it's going to ask you to select which um which stream uh which server are you going to be streaming to a on default you are going to have twitch selected so you can either choose twitch that is if you are streaming on twitch but for this video tutorial we are doing it on youtube so you have to select youtube but for any reason guys i would advise you to just cancel it because i'm going to cover everything on this video so just go ahead and cancel that information or that particular setting and i'm going to explain everything right now so if you have open um your OBS studio is going to display this way without the um, settings displaying. Once it displays this way, the first area you have to come to is your settings. Click on your settings to take you to the settings area and you have to start configuring your, your settings. On general, you, need, you don't need to do anything right here, but where you need to actually work on is the stream, output, video and audio. So let's start with the video settings. So on your video settings, it's actually going to ask you to select your basic resolution. And on default, it's actually going to give you the resolution that came with the system. So on default, the resolution with my system is actually um, 1600 by 900. So on default, that is actually what it gave me. But then you can also change this to um, 920 by 1080 pixel. And then go ahead and change the output also to 980, which is also what you choose. But then let me go ahead and show you guys the reason why it actually gave me that particular um, 1600 uh, as, the, as the display. Now, if you click on your system display, you can notice that the default resolution is actually 1600 by 900. This is exactly the reason why it gave me the default settings. So let's come back to OBS. Even though you chose this setting, it actually do not mean that it's going to automatically alter your system settings. No, guys. It's also going to work because we are making use of a software. But since it's not the exact screen resolution with our computer, do not worry about that. Just go ahead and click on apply and it's also going to apply. It's going to work perfectly well and I'm going to explain what we actually did later on. Now, the next area is the audio. So go ahead and choose the sample audio on default. I'm okay with this, or you can click on this and select a different um, um, frame rate for your audio. And you can also select a different channel that you are using. And also for your audio output, I'm actually using desktop on default. So I'm also going to stick with that. But if you, are, if you actually have an external audio plugged in, when you click on this, you are actually going to see that. Also, if you have a mic plugged in, you are definitely going to see whatever mic you have plugged in. So I do not have any other device or audio device plugged in. So I'm not going to utter any settings right here. So I'm going to leave this on default. The reason why I came here is because somebody might have, um, have an external mic or um, an audio plugged in. So they might decide to use that instead. But I'm actually okay with that. Next, the output. This also I'm going to leave on default. But for your case, you can also change this. Now, this first area is actually going to be the video frame rate of our video. Now, the video frame rate is actually going to be the frame rate um, which 
we are recording in. And also, I think that is also covered right here, which is actually our video frame rate. On default, it's giving me 30, but for your own case, this might be 60 or even more, depending on your network speed, uh, probably where you are. And also, you can confirm your network speed and then you can alter that um, settings by going to speed test. And then you go to this speed test and test it with Google, or you just go ahead and make use of this speed test, which is speedtest.net, or you use fast.com. So when you use this speed test, it's going to actually tell you the speed of your PC. But I've already tested my speed test and this is actually what it gave me. This is my upload and this is my download speed. So I'm actually having a very poor speed or network speed. But then for your case, you can go ahead and do whatever you want. If you use this, it's going to show you your ping, your download and your upload right here. So you can go ahead and choose whichever one that you want best suited to you so i already know my speed and i'm actually okay with what i was giving right here i think this is actually too big because left to me i think 10 frame rates should have been okay because my network is very poor now let's go back to the output so also on this area you can notice the video frame rate is also different this might also be different for you but i would advise you to leave this output if you do not understand it and for my case i'm leaving this also on default but what i'm trying to say if you have a graphic system, you are going to have something different, but I'm leaving this on default because automatically the software, um, this software OBS detects your system and gives it the matching um, or the required requirement that it needs to run your streaming smoothly or at least at normal. So um, anything that I can actually choose this to be uh, default speed, I'm okay with that. But I can even reduce this to fast because my system is quite not that good. But then the next area, which is the important area, guys, click on your stream if you're ready to start streaming. So on default, you are not going to see YouTube right here. What you are going to see is Twitch. So click on this service area and then you select either Facebook or uh youtube or whichever platform you want but i'm running on youtube so i'm going to click on youtube to start that and then this primary server i sincerely do not know what this actually does so i leave that on default so the next area you actually need to do is to click on connect account this is actually where you have to connect your youtube account with obs so all you need to do is to click on connect account and it's going to bring you to, if you are not yet logged into your system, it's going to ask you to log in. But if you are already logged in, it's going to show you all of the logged in email and you have to actually choose the right one. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Life Path, which is actually my gaming channel. So once I have that selected, it's going to go ahead and show me more information by telling me that OBS wants to access my Google account and you can read all of the information, but I think it's going to be a waste of time if we keep reading everything. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue and you notice it says um, authorization completed successfully. You can now uh, close this page, which is exactly what we have to do. And um, even though you leave that open, it's still going to log you into your OBS. So go back to OBS, you notice it's already connected. This is actually the page, uh, the channel I want to connect. And anytime you want, you can always click on disconnect if you want to remove it. And now you notice where it says ignore streaming service uh, recommendation, right? Now, if you um, turn this on, you are actually going to be making use of your own manual setting. But actually, I do know I, I encourage you guys to turn that on because if you turn this on, it's going to make your video to uh, perform very poor. But if you leave this on default, automatically the recommendation from your streaming service, which is YouTube, is going to be automatically set for you. So um, I enable that and I'm going to click on apply and then you notice right there it shows the chart which it means that we are already um, active on our channel so all you need to do right now is to click on ok to confirm that you are done with all of the settings and then the next thing i want to do is to bring this chart here so that it won't cover up whatever i'm doing right now and then the next place you actually need to do is to come over to your manage broadcast click on that and then um actually you know what let me do this last so I just close that off. 
Now you notice this area where it says scene, right? If you want to create multiple scene, you can always click on this plus icon to add more scene. But I'm actually okay with this first scene, so I'm going to work on that. Now the next thing, you notice this area is showing black screen. To make it start showing something, we actually need to choose a source where our video is coming from. Now to choose that source, we actually need to work on this source. You notice it's titled source, right? Now click on this plus icon right here to choose your source. And next you are noticing different information, audio input source, audio output source. If you have a different mic or all of these, you can also select the audio source right from this area. And if you want to be live streaming from a browser, you can choose browser, you put the URL right there, it's going to be showing the browser and everything going on right there. And if you want to live stream, making use of a camera, let's say a, web, a webcam or um, an external device you connected to your PC, just go ahead and choose on video capture uh, device. So if you click on that, it's going to tell you to give it a name. You can call this any name because you can actually have multiple outputs. So, on default guys this is actually my webcam i have a webcam display right now so it's displaying my face you can see the um face right and then this on default dictated my webcam right so if we have another external device you can click on this area and it's going to display if you have a digital camera right here connected to your device which is external is going to display them right here but we do not have anyone like that so on default this is my webcam and i'm going to leave that and i'm going to choose ok so if we only want to display my face which is this webcam right you just need to like make this maximize it make it to full the screen big enough that just the way you want right so i uh, you can drag it and this is it so make it a bit to focus on you and you are good to go so we can start live streaming this right and it will be displaying but then that is actually not the only thing i want to do you can still do a lot of things with this bad boy but there is so much time and i can show you guys other things that you can do on my next video for then if we want to start live streaming this all we need to do is to come over to either start streaming or we can just come over to manage broadcast click on that once you're done with your settings um okay um so once you're done with your settings and added everything all you need to do is to click on create broadcast so this area you enter in the title of your video here you enter in the description and then here you choose the category of the video and then also here you choose if you want it public or private but just choose public and then um, once you're done just click on create broadcast and start streaming but then um there is actually something guys on my previous video i actually showed you guys how to live stream to membership only so if you also want to do that just all you need to do is to click on um you know what let me change the title of this video so that you get uh, and i'm going to call this um newest 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 justice i know there is a typographical error but i'm just going to leave that so just create the broadcast and you're going to notice it says creating a new broadcast and also quick information guys if you notice any error while creating this it actually means that um your network is very slow so if you're done creating um come over to your youtube dashboard go over to the content area it might take a while depending on how fast your internet is go to the live session and then you are going to notice on the live section you will see um hold on you are going to see the videos that are actually live the brokers that has been created you notice it says um newest just all right which is also the same with what i just created right and if i click on the manage you can always see it right there hold on so instead of bringing in the new one this is actually what is selected and you notice it's scheduled so if you want to go live you can just click on start live but if you want to make more changes and especially you want it to be members only just um Either you can do this on your control panel or you just click on this edit to edit two ways click on edit you come right here you click on the drop down you select members only 
or you make it public, whichever one you choose. So if you make it members only, you click on done, it's going to only display to your members. Actually, I do not have members yet on this particular channel. And also you notice that thumbnail did not upload for some reason. Um, you can also do that by uploading the thumbnail, right? I'm going to choose thumbnail. Do not worry guys, this video is not going to go live. So I'm going to come here and just choose this random image I have on my device. It's going to start uploading. You notice it's been uploaded. Okay, it's uploaded successfully. And just check if there is anything you want to do, like the tag, add hashtag right here. You can add hashtag right here. And if you're done with everything, go ahead and hit save. And it's going to update your settings. So now we are actually ready to live stream, right? But if you also want to see um, more, let me go ahead and navigate. Okay, it didn't save probably the network. Let me click and wait. Let me refresh instead because sometimes the network can be so funny. Okay, it actually updated. So I'm just going to back out. Right, I'm going to click on live once more. And then I'm going to click on this area where it says view control room click on that and wait for it to load up so um if you are on this control room you can notice how it's been set right so on this control room you can actually um, do even more settings right here but if you are okay with this you can click on this edit to start editing just like i did just now and you can also see everything so if you want to start live streaming all you need to do like um, you click on start live streaming right here and if it starts live streaming you are going to notice a stop button right here you can see that so if you come right here it should display but if it's currently not displaying so yeah it's now displaying so probably because of the connection so it starts displaying and it's stopped, supposed to be showing um, my face because the webcam is still on I don't know why it's not displaying that the network is super slow on my device but it's not supposed to be doing this on your own end you can notice right now it's showing but obviously the reason why it's taking all this time is because the network is very slow so from here you can control your live stream you can see what is going on and you can always end your live stream by clicking on this end button right here or you come to obs area to stop your live streaming guys there is a lot of things we can actually do on our live stream oh i see that the chat icon has been disabled for this live stream um i just noticed that so you can also enable that on this area by clicking on edit or rather just click on the stream setting actually stream setting is looking at me right there so the chat and the other settings can all be configured and enabled right here so um i wonder why the chat was disabled the chat is supposed to be active the chat is supposed to be disabled only when we are live streaming for kids only but then guys in order not to make this uh too long i am going to say this is actually um the end of this video and i'm going to see you guys on my next video so you notice it says this content is for kids that is the reason why the um, chat is disabled so if you click on it you can notice that the chat will be active hold on i just want to show you guys that before we end the live you can notice the reaction right right and the chat should be right here you notice it's now active so the chat was not active because um if you enabled this content is made for kids it's going to turn off your chat if you say it's not made for kids it's going to be active and this should be active let me just say so the network is also affecting this also but then guys this is all i want to show you on today's video and i hope it's helpful let me know if you have any question or any challenges while doing this and i will see you on my next video please stay safe and peace